Hi guys, um, so I'm filming a video outside. If you were, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been doing like meditations and stuff outside with y'all, which has been super fun for me. Um, I just wanted to make a video to share like some fear and trying to kick fear in the butt. Um, Omi Yamaya is doing the 21 days of kicking fear in the butt, something like that challenge, dispelling fear. <clears throat> And don't mind the bees, they're doing their thing. <laughs> um, but I just want to talk about talk about something with you guys. So a lot of you guys know that I am moving. Well, I'm going to grad school in the fall. I'm so blessed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for my ancestors because I've been getting messages about where to go, when to go, and all sorts of kind of stuff for months. And I'm so grateful. Um, and so you guys know some of you guys know that I finished undergrad in upstate New York um, and I've been back and forth from upstate New York and New York City for the past five years now and I love New York City I'm in love with New York City um, and I definitely want to move back to New York City at some point in my life I just love big cities I'm a Gemini so you know I love the city life I love um, meeting new people every day that I leave my house like you know going to parties things like that I love that kind of stuff um, but so I got accepted into grad school both in New York City and New Orleans and some of you guys may know let me know if y'all want me to do a little about me video <laughs> um, some of you guys may know I'm I wasn't born in Baton Rouge I was born in an army base in South Carolina but I was raised since I was like what like three in Baton Rouge Louisiana so um so moving back home so so I applied to grad school in both New Orleans and New York of course New York is ten times more expensive on top of that because I went to high school in Louisiana I am NOT currently a New York resident I can not apply now that I've had my own apartment out here for two years but um, school in New York is so expensive um, so I ended up getting a scholarship for the graduate school that I was looking into in New York, um, but then I got into an amazing program in New Orleans. Um, so basically, I've been at a crossroads, right? Um, being a Gemini, and also I'm an only child, and that has a lot of, that really, it's tricky because you know being a Gemini I love socializing but being only child I wasn't given the opportunity to socialize unless I was around other people so I tend to gravitate and love and all that kind of stuff big cities because I'm able to talk to people to talk to you know meet new people all that kind of stuff so now I'm sitting down looking at my acceptance letters looking at everything trying to figure out where I want to go on one hand my dad is now doing surgery in New Orleans. My mom is in Lafayette. All of my family on my mom's side is around, what, three hours away from New Orleans. And they're begging me to come back. And they're like <laughs> bribing me with saying they're gonna buy me new girls. I got a stuff, which is so amazing. I'm so grateful. Um, but part of my heart is like, but wait, like, I, don't, I love New York City. Like nothing is, nothing compares to New York City, but this morning I kind of had a revelation I don't know if it was a revelation or one of my guides speaking to me but I was just like girl do you love New York City or are you scared of being alone do you love New York City or are you scared of not meeting new people do you love New York City or do you just like the distractions and New Orleans is a big city New Orleans is a beautiful city. I love New Orleans. Um, and it's just like, in my head, it was just telling me, like, I really do think it's probably one of my spirit guys stepping in because they know that I'm nervous about all this kind of stuff. It's just kind of telling me, like, you're going to find your footing in New Orleans. And New Orleans is going to be great for your spiritual, spiritual growth. And I've had dreams months and months ago about my spirit guides stepping in very clearly and telling me to continue school in New Orleans. Um, and I think it's that. I think it's me being scared 
of being alone, which is a crazy thought because New Orleans is a huge city. It's not as big as New York City, but it's a huge city. It would be very easy for me to find my niche and my my flow there, but it's that. And then it's also kind of me being scared about the spiritual activity in New Orleans. Um, some of you guys know that my gifts, psychic and clairvoyance and clairaudience stuff is developing, and I've kind of like pushed that away and kind of like um, try to suppress it because it's not fun <laughs> to see things, you know? It's not always fun. It comes with a responsibility and it comes with um, a, lover, a level of mastery that you have to really hone in on. So part of me also feels like I'm, I'm apprehensive about New Orleans because the spirit is high in New Orleans. Spirit is high in New Orleans. The spiritual activity is high. I'm holding on to a blue cow site because <laughs> it's really helping me soothe my energy. So then it's just also like for me, it's like, okay, I definitely feel like New Orleans has been calling me. New Orleans is, you know, I visited my dad in February and I had an amazing time. I loved being there. And I, you know, in my dreams, I'm getting messages. I looked at like uh, how much it would cost to go and it is so much cheaper, probably a quarter cheaper than if I stayed in New York City, um, even with the scholarship. <laughs> um, so, so now it's just like what's stopping me. You know, like what's stopping me? And I really do think it's fear. <laughs> I really do think it's fear. And I have to realize that I'm gonna be good anywhere that I go. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna find friends. I'm an amazing person. If I continue working on elevating my energy, elevating my frequency, getting, you know, more in flow with my gifts and things like that, I'm freaking powerful. I'm already powerful, but we all are powerful in our own way. Um, but I'm going to be good whenever, wherever I go. And I really need to kick fear in the butt and say, okay, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome here, period. Because... New York City is always going to be there, but New Orleans is calling me for a reason. New Orleans is calling me for a lot of reasons. For One, the, the program that I got into New Orleans is exactly what I need for my career. Two, every time, you know, I visited uh, this past year, or this, I visited the end of February, so when I went there from February, it was really calling me. Three, the messages. Four, I know that my spiritual growth is going to take off in more ways than I can ever expect um, and maybe that's my ego kind of being scared my ego kind of being scared of new things and whatever and New York New York is not home because I, I didn't grow up here but New York is comfortable to me because I, I just love New York City and of course my friends are here Ooh, B. all right all right all right <laughs> literally that came right by my head um, but he's chilling. Um, so it's just like starting anew and being scared of new things. But all signs are pointing to what I need to do, but I'm just like apprehensive. And this is just a video of me sharing with you guys how I'm feeling, but also a video for anyone who's feeling fear. When you're feeling fear, you have to really distinguish between insecurity and intuition. A lot of times, a lot of us are, oh my god, no, my intuition, my gut is telling me, no, 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 sweetie, listen to your intuition versus your fear or your insecurity if you can figure out a why to why you're feeling like that sit in that think about that and most likely it's insecurity if you can't figure out a why and there's just a sense of knowing then it's most likely intuition and I can do a whole video on how to strengthen that because I'm really learning how to do that lately um, but yeah I just I wanted to share with you guys like it doesn't matter where you are in your spiritual walk. It doesn't matter. There's always going to be hurdles and there's always going to be obstacles and there's always going to be room for growth. And I need to welcome that growth. 
all signs are pointing to a direction, but I'm letting my fear get the best of me. I need to welcome that growth. I need to welcome that with open arms. And New York City is always going to be there, but this time in my life, this time where I'm a baby and my business is growing and I'm getting more clients and my you my Instagram page is growing at a crazy amount and I'm so grateful for that. This is going to be the perfect time for me to go to a city, go to a place where it's going to be an amazing catalyst for my spiritual career and my career in the medical field. So, yeah. I just wanted to share with you guys. This is really therapeutic for me to sit out here and talk. <laughs> but, yeah. And this is a message from future me. If you're ever being scared, relax and trust. And the ancestors always got you, always got you. Your spirit guides always got you. Spirit, God always has you, you know. And, you know, listen to all the signs and don't, don't question it. Question it in the right ways. But be careful because that ego loves to get in the way. <laughs> but yeah, all right, y'all. I'll talk to you soon, and peace, love, and light, everybody.